Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how we make our nice pictures that you see on our coasters. So you can see our LED coasters, we have a nice picture on all of them. <laughs> That's the idea of it. So, um, so when you put your drink on, there's always an image. So I'm going to show you how, where we get the image from, how we take that and put it on the coaster, on the PCB, on the silk, and what kind of tips and tricks we do. So we're doing it quite often, we like to spice up our PCBs, give it some arty flavor, not just your components. So this video is about that. So if it's helpful, please guys, just hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, you know what to do. And let us know what else you guys need help with with electronics, PCB design, things like that. Just to give you guys an example of what I mean, so you can see the silk on there. So these are special ways of doing this, um, a nice weightlifting guy. So that's what this video is about, to show you how we put our symbols on our PCBs, but focusing on the coasters, because that's the thing we're interested in at the moment. So sit back, relax, and watch this video, and learn. Great, so let's get started. Um, so as you can see, we've got our coaster here. This is about 100 by 100 millimeters. Um, so we want a nice picture for our coaster on the top. So PCBs can actually have quite nice, complicated pictures, and here I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Um, to start, we go to a program called Placeit. So Placeit is just this website where you can get nice designs so they do have different uh, subscriptions, uh, different tiers, but they've got a lot of free stuff as well. Um, we do pay for the, for the full package because we use it a lot for designs. So for example, I enjoy cricket a lot. I want something for cricket. So let's see what they have. And you can see there's a couple designs. So nice thing about Placeit, it's all open source, all free to use. So no copyright problems. Uh, so I like this one. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to download it. So there's just a couple of things we have to think about. The first thing when you want to do it on a PCB design is you want just two colors actually, because you're going to import a DXF, and a PCB only looks at two colors for that outline. I'll show you guys what I mean about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the background I'm going to remove, so to keep it simple, and I can actually download it as this is download you can see I've already, <laughs> I've already done this just to test it so I'll just download it you can see it pops up on the left hand side now you're going to need, need another program another program to make sure it's a nice DXF for your PCB design is called the Inkscape so just download the software it's free uh, we use a lot just follow the instructions I'll put a link below uh, download it and open it so when you open it you'll get something like this yeah, so let's open our file we just downloaded. Mine's always a download, so like a crazy person. And I just say, okay, we want smooth, optimized quality. Um, yeah, that's fine like that. And it opens actually on a new one. We can just close this. Close. So we open this one. And you can see this nice color looks nice, but we cannot keep this in PCB design. First thing I do is I click on it and make sure the dimensions is great for my PCB. Like I said, it's 100 by 100. So let's make the height um, 90 to be sure it fits. And you can see it gets very small. And now we click on it and we right click, trace bitmap. Once you're in this scenario, you can start playing push update. And here with the brightness threshold, you can play around to see what comes out quite nicely. Uh, so you can see when I go lower, more white will appear. There you can start seeing a picture. It does take away the cricket on top. Um, so you're going to have to do the cricket in this um, twice, separate, shall I say. So just keep doing this. So it's starting to get better there. Um, you want a clear distinguish between black and white. Because when you do the DXF conversion, it will look at black and white and then you'll be able to yeah it will make a nice dxf for you um, so rather be safe than sorry so that looks fine um, the settings on the left is fine and we just push ok close it when you can just be careful not responding <laughs> close it and now you drag it to the right and it will appear we can delete this now and we've got a nice picture to make a DXF now. So if, to make a DXF, I go File, Save As, uh, DXF, do the 14. We did the 12 and it doesn't come out that nice. 
so 14 newer versions always better I assume and we say cricket logo just to make sure save uh, there you can see base unit millimeter um, I only take the layers that I can see because sometimes it makes layers on the, that you don't actually see and some weird lines will come on your PCB design so just choose the visible layers so you'll get what you see okay and that's how easy it was to take a picture into a DXF now to take this picture into your KiCad so what you do is file import import graphics choose it so important part here is your scale so we already set the scale at the beginning so that's fine um, the layer so f silk is the top layer that is the white you normally see on a pcb uh, the writing the text so that's where i want this to be on the top silk and then the line width is the thickness of your lines this is important because manufacturing has a certain minimum thickness of lines so import it look if it's too thin then increase this value bit by bit so let's see what happens there we go our oh man now to see if it looks reasonable in your pcb just push alt 3 and you'll see it on your 3d 3d view there you can see it always looks better in real life so but you can see the lines are quite nice it's clear uh, no real issues so this logo will actually come quite nicely on the PCB. Now what we do normally is I like to give it some touches. Um, so you can see this will be white. So when you order a black PCB, which I normally do, what you see now is just white lines. Um, what I like to do sometimes is to add some copper to it. So copper is actually when you have a PCB and you do a copper pole. So like this, I push this button right, I do the top and I paste this now uh, it doesn't matter net so there's no nets now it's just to make it look nice on my PCB for my LEDs of course I've got some tracks and stuff um, but this is just to show you how we make our logos on the PCB which is quite cool so now you can see I've actually got a copper pole there um, so when I put three it will look a bit different yeah so it's a bit darker um, <laughs> difficult to see um, so what I want to do now is I want to bring that copper that I just poured and bring it up to the top that I can see. So to do that, I need to use a thing called my mask, my mask layer. So my mask layer is going to tell the manufacturer this part of the PCB do not cover with solder mask. Keep it open so that I can see the so that I can see the copper. So when I click on this, I can start drawing um, just some fun stuff. So I would like the eyes to be more coppery. So it's a bit difficult sometimes to get it perfectly in line but I'll show you guys some tricks um, yeah I don't push escape too early double click and it's there but I want this now to match this so I can move it a bit uh, if you have problems with the grid just make the grid very small on the top here um, yeah you can make it extremely small and then you can move it freely just use the grid the small grid only when you do stuff like this don't have a grid that's more when you do component placement and stuff like it. And there you can see we make the eyes. And now we want to do the same for this eye. <laughs> Let's just redraw it. It's going to be easier. Double click. And then you just, so it takes a bit of time um, to make it look nice. But it's just to give you guys an idea how we do it. So this pink part is to tell the manufacturer, please don't put solder mask on my PCB. So the solder mask is the black part that you'll see. Um, that I'll show you guys now. So the, the part here is where you see solder mask, so where I'm showing now. So I told the manufacturing, take away the solder mask and show me the exposed copper. So that will actually be copper for the eyes, which actually looks quite cool in real life. I'll show you guys some um, examples now. So what I would do is now I would just carry on and choose um, special places on the design that I would like some copper on. So maybe the grill, the grill would be nice to have some copper, uh, maybe on the pads. So I'll just quickly do that, <laughs> fast forward a bit, and then let's see the end.
so you saw that in super fast speed but this actually takes quite a quite a bit of time and this is quite ugly that I did now um, but just to give you guys the idea of what to do so the mask will create the opening then the copper underneath will come through but it's very important that you put a copper pour over underneath so it's very important to do this because when you mark, make a solar mask opening and there's no copper underneath you're not going to see any copper um, but then a nice trick that's also that's very handy is these difficult corners and stuff you can create extra um, what do you call these dots extra places where you can rotate um, by pushing insert so if you push insert you can see I get more tighter ways of creating some angles and things like that um, so it helps a lot so keep this grid very small use the insert and you can actually fill in quite difficult spaces um, with this even if I want to have a full silk and for example I want to color in this badge then I can just do this so the layer choosing a layer is very very important and now you can see that is going to be colored in so if I alt 3 so this is the white on top of the PCB is the blue you see here there we go it's colored in guys so that is how I normally make the tops of our coasters just be careful when you have tracks um, running on your board when you made a circuit just be sure sure that this copper op this mask opening is not over your tracks because that will mean that your track is actually visible to the outside world what I mean by that is if I go here and I place a track here you want your tracks to be covered with solder mask that's just the best way for it to be uh, for longevity and all the things so what you see here is I've got a track going underneath my mask opening and that is not ideal because then your track is going to be exposed to the outside world so what I did wrong now is I did, do, did not do a, a report so if I push K I think nope I think it's B B for repo there you can see so I reported successfully and now if I go three you can see that my track is actually exposed so this means that you will see this track open in your PCB so if by any chance there's a small drop of water can cause a short or something like that so try not to do this try to make sure if you have tracks and you want to design a nice picture make sure your tracks do not go underneath this pink mask opening that is very important but guys I hope this helped so this is exactly how I make my pictures for all my coasters if you found this video helpful please just give a thumbs up subscribe we'll make many more of these focusing on PCB design hobbying building your idea in your head bringing it to real life uh, things like that we also started a podcast now. Yesterday was quite cool. Chatting to real engineers in the real world. Guys, have a fantastic day. Um, let me know what images you would like to make on top of a PCB. Uh, maybe we can help. But I think it makes your PCB design look so much nicer when you have nice little trinkets, <laughs> I think you call it. So just nice little images that spice up your electronics, your PCB, give some flavor. Uh, until next time, guys. Have a fantastic week. Hope all your designs work first time right. Till next time.